Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping in. This is a Wild Game 2024 second annual collaboration hosted by Christine, Mrs. Gillum Farms. Um, she just put up an, an amazing video, venison enchiladas. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to do a... I don't even know what you would call it. Cheeseburger with turkey hearts and liver in there. Don't judge. It's delicious. And please stay tuned. Um, the playlist will be in the description box below as always. She said there may or may not be a surprise at the end of the collaboration for some lucky commenter. Please go check them out, and I'm going to do a voiceover because it's always noisy around here. So, without further ado, let's check out my, I don't even know if you want, what the heck you would call it, turkey beef burger? I don't know. All right, you fine folks out there, let's get started with this concoction. Y'all know that we um, have our own turkeys. So, this is four turkey hearts and a couple of livers. So, what I'm going to do, they, um, I'm going to add, chop all their stuff up, and I'm going to add it to my hamburger. And then I'm going to season it just like I would a hamburger. This is the hearts from the turkey and the livers from the turkey. Trimming off the fat. And then I'm going to slice it into thin strips. I'm going to do the same way with the turkey liver. If you do not like the liver at all, then don't add it. Because this has, um, like every little bite, you'll get a hint of the liver flavor. The way I ground it up in that little chopper, it made it super, and it made it like a, it soft chunks, but at the same time, it made it liquidy, because usually in my cheeseburgers, I would usually add an egg to help keep it together. I didn't even add an egg this time. Some of you people that like liver, I'm telling you, you should give it a try. It's a little messy. I had to uh, clean up as I went. The link to the playlist and to Christine, Mrs. Gillum Farms channel will also be in the description box below. And I want to thank you, Christine, for inviting me to your second annual Wild Game November 2024. Please, you guys and gals, Follow along. Like I said in the beginning, there may be a surprise at the end for some lucky commenter. I googled um, turkey heart recipes and there was only one that I found. And it was a YouTuber. I can't remember. But he did... He did a, um, a shish kebab with them. But the way he did it, it was amazing. If I can find that video again, I will link that down in the description box below too. In case you guys want to try that. But me, knowing me, I have to be totally different. Especially when you got... All this awesome competition on here doing these wild game videos any video y'all are amazing out there each and every one of you I appreciate and love each of you here I'm chopping it up and I think I chopped it up a little bit too much but because it made it 
really kind of liquidy, but the flavor at the end was amazing. So I think it worked out well. I'm missing a couple clips. I thought I um, <clears throat> took photos of the cheeseburgers once I got them out of the oven. And of course I did not. So my apologies for that. I've joined a lot of collaborations this year, especially in one month. Here's my hamburger. Here, see what, look, you'll see. It's a little dark. Sorry about the shadow. I'm trying to get all out there. But see how rich that meat is? In my hamburger, I always buy lean beef anyway. So here I'm adding some Italian breadcrumbs. And I make my burgers like I do a meatloaf. I chopped up an onion. You can chop them up as fine as you like. My husband loves onions, so mine are medium diced. And then bell peppers. I still been, I still got a few green bell peppers out of my garden. I got rich in bell peppers this year. Add your seasonings as well. You put in that mixture. If you try this, make it to your liking. What I like is not the same as what you like. Husband liked it. Our daughter stopped by that evening. or Yeah, th that evening we had just finished up dinner. And he said, you want a hamburger? <clears throat> he said, it's really good. And... It was funny. She said, I'm scared. Did you put something in it? <laughs> I said, thanks a lot, Pops. But anyway, she never did try it. Added a little bit more. Cause it was a little uh, more wet than what I thought. I managed to get them to roll. I put them in a ball in my hand, and then I put them on... A cookie sheet that I wiped down with a little bit of, of olive oil. So you might want to do that. And you might not want it <laughs> might not want it this wet. But this is the way I do things. This is my video. My recipe. I didn't get this from nobody. My husband and I come up with this ourselves. See? I got burgers. <laughs> I got burgers. <laughs> And Mrs. Gillum Farms, Christine, you said to have fun with it. And that's exactly what I did. And you're going to find this even funny. I put some mayonnaise on my bread. Put me some lettuce on there. Usually, there's, there's about the best photo of the burger I got. Now, this is the funny part. Watch this, y'all. She said, have fun. I'm going to cut it in half or quarters. And I decided I wanted to sit it on the plate and eat with a fork. Because y'all know I had dental work done. So. Yep. It's good y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Please go over and check out the playlist. Thank you Christine. Don't forget to check out the description box below y'all. Till next time.